What is the idea of week four of the course, reading Hans Jonas's Technology and Responsibility? I've said, I believe in multiple videos, comments, that this is the turning point for our course. And rather than do something redundant and go through the details of the Jonas essay and what I'm calling the Jonas thesis, which is something that I do in the, in the videos for this week, I, I just want to point to, and this may be redundant, but I just want to point to something. Uh, in the opening, in the int introductory paragraph of Jonas's essay, that I think is the, the crucial idea here and something that you have to decide for yourself. In the final sentence of the paragraph, he says this, more specifically, it will be my contention that with certain developments of our powers, the nature of human action has changed. And since ethics is concerned with action, it should follow that the changed nature of human action calls for change in ethics as well. Now that's the thesis. That's the so-called Jonas thesis right there, what I'm calling the Jonas thesis, the idea that because of the growth of modern technology, human action has changed. And since ethics is about or related to or a study of or an evaluation of human action, ethics needs to change as well. But I think the key point is stated after the, the colon there. He says, this is not merely in the sense that new objects of action have added to the case material on which received rules of conduct are to be applied. That is, this is not just because we are faced because of modern technology with new situations, what he calls case materials. He's, he continues, he says, but in the more radical sense that the qualitatively novel nature of certain of our actions has opened up a whole new dimension of ethical relevance for which there is no precedent in the standards and canons of traditional ethics. I think a distinction made there is quite important because the first idea is that, well, of course, technology as a part of history innovates and we have new situations like what we've been looking at autopilot, the kind of social experiment that Facebook did on its users. Those things are new situations, but we may think, well, we can handle them by our usual received traditional ethics. And that was kind of what we were, we've been doing for the past couple of weeks, applying Kantianism, and utilitarianism to autopilot and the Facebook experiment. That would be the idea that, well, of course, technology confronts us with new situations, but they can be handled with the old tools, let's say, the old ethical tools. That is not what Jonas is saying. That's not the thesis. The thesis is rather what he says at the end there, the more radical sense that the qualitatively novel nature of certain of our actions has opened up Whole new a whole new dimension of ethical relevance for which there is no precedent in the standards and canons of traditional ethics. That is that the new situations that are created by modern technology, let's say, well, the basic idea is they cannot be comprehended within the framework of traditional ethics, let's say within the framework of strict, of um, standard or classical Kantianism or utilitarianism or other less formal ethics, like religious ethics, other traditions, but um, he's making a sweeping statement that we are in a new historical situation and we not only need to deal with new, new um, challenges, we need to develop new tools. We need to develop a new ethics because the old ethics, as he said, is for the old world and we're in a new world. So it, whether I don't know if the Jonas thesis is true, but in a certain sense, the whole course is structured around it. And it may be that you disagree with his, his claim here. I mean, carefully read what he has to say in this essay. But everything that we do after this, when we start looking at especially issues like the singularity and then and, you know, digital surveillance and the effects of social media and the new panopticon, the idea of uh, intervalence, it may be, it's a kind of a, t a testing of the Jonas thesis. Again, it's not something that you necessarily have to agree with, this radical thesis that he makes. As far back as 1973, that uh, the growth of technology has pretty much made, at least in, in terms of 
public policy decisions has made the old ethics obsolete. You don't have to agree with that thesis. He may be wrong about it, but but it is the central thesis of the course and, and something we'll be testing for the rest of the course. So this is a crucial week, I think, of the course, the reading of this essay, so that what we did in the first few weeks is very different from what we'll be doing or the approach we'll be taking at least in the rest of the course.